while organ donation is picking up in India, stem cell transplants are still very rare. Now, one of those rare success stories met in Kolkata, a recipient and a donor for the first time. Face to face for the first time, Nilesh and Sajat, recipient and donor of stem cells. For the 42-year-old Nilesh, this meeting two years after the event, an opportunity to thank the person who saved his life. I'm sure that people who will know about more about him will come forward, and especially of age group of his, uh, you know, type from 20 to 20, 30. You know, if they come forward, probably the next generations will not will try to find out and motivate people. Sajat runs a healthcare startup. He became a donor while researching for his company and saved Nitin's life as he was a match. He wants more young people to register. I'm very excited. I mean, uh, I always. Well, of course, I know that I was able to do something good in which it ended up saving someone's life and not many people get to say that in their lifetimes. And I actually saw that face, you know, that, that how fit he is. And I mean, so I remember uh, Gayatri telling me about this condition. The transplant had been facilitated by Datri, an NGO. In 2009, it started with 3,000 people pledging to donate stem cells. Today, there are 93,000. Kolkata itself has seen 300 successful transplants already. When a donor asks me, what is the risk of donation? I would say, what is the risk of crossing the street in outside my hospital and not being hit by a bus? For Nilesh's children, Sajat is their new superhero. As a tribute, they painted him this picture. In Kolkata with camera person Bishwajit Das, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.